Hi, this is Bitluni and in today's episode I'll upgrade the controller of my self-made electric scooter and add regenerative braking to it. Here is a short recap of the previous episodes. I bought a simple scooter and swapped the back wheel for an electric hub drive. That worked already quite well, even with cheap as controllers. I only burned one so far. My last change was adding some kick detection with a gyro sensor. Up until now I had a lot of fun already. But I didn't have any proper brakes. Today I will change that by switching to a quite capable open source speed controller. It can be programmed using USB and provides a ton of features including regenerative braking. I already shown this in my 4kW card project video. Since new scooter laws are coming to Germany I will remove the kick detection for maximum comfort. As the new throttle I will use one of these analog joysticks from a sensor kit I got ages ago. We can use up for forward acceleration, center will be idle and back will be braking and backwards acceleration. Let's remove the old controller and connect the new one. The ESC also supports HAL sensors. These as well as the analog inputs need to be connected using 2mm pin pitch JST connectors. You can find some links to the parts below. Once we are finished with all the wiring we need to connect it to batteries to be able to program it. The programming tool can be get for free from the VESC project site. The newer version has a wizard that lacks a comparable motor to mine. You should really be careful with the limits that you set. But I also encountered a problem configuring the analog input. It somehow ignored the current reverse setting and went full throttle when the stick was idle. This, no proper current limits and a battery pack that was about 20 volts too high led to a catastrophic failure I unbelievably didn't caught on camera. But I was able to capture the magic smoke escaping the motor. The controller and the motor were fried. That set me off by 150 bucks. It was one of my more expensive fails so far. But it's a toll the maker gods take from time to time. Another day, another try. <laughs> I bought replacements for the motor and the controller and got the controller even cheaper from another brand. Soldering all the connectors and wires takes always ages. Trying to replace the broken motor, I realized that the replacement was slightly wider. No. Nothing that can't be fixed with some precision tools. Two 3-cell packs in series fit nicely in the compartment of the scooter and should be okay for the 24V motor. Only thing left to do is to connect and tidy up everything. For the controller, duct tape will do for now. I printed a small mount to fix the analog stick to the handlebar.
Now it's time to configure it. I started testing with a 15 amps limit and 10 amps for braking. There are several settings that also help protecting the batteries. That's also an improvement. The current reverse center setting seems to work fine this time. After a short test I increased the current limits to 30 and 20 amps to get faster acceleration and braking. To test the actual currents I will use an action cam that will record a clamp meter measuring continuously. During acceleration the controller takes up to about 25 amps from the battery. The braking recharges the battery again at around 8 amps. That should be acceptable for these type of batteries. The braking force is also good. It's way better to what I was used to until now. It's also able to go backwards if I would be able to keep the balance. In that case, it regenerates until the backwards motion starts. I like the improvements and I'm still the coolest kid on my street. Maybe even cooler since I also can go backwards now. Yeah! I hope you liked it, check out the links in the description if you need parts for your own experiments and consider subscribing for future projects. See you next time, bye!